so in the sequence of alkyl halide i'll start with reactions of haloalkanes so it is very very important part in the uh, alkyl halide so i'll be uh, trying to tell you everything about the reactions like sn1 reaction sn2 reaction p2 reactions reactions with metals everything but uh, in the sequence so whatever the requirement will be there i'll be telling you everything so write down the heading that is reactions of halo alkanes okay so some types of reactions are there in the uh, halo alkanes generally we study uh, the first one is nucleophilic nucleophilic substitution i already told you about the electrophilic and nucleophilic substitution where the nucleus loving will be there to substitute anything that will be nucleophilic substitution if electrophilic will be there when electron loving then that will be electrophilic substitution but the second reaction in this uh, halo alkanes is elimination reaction elimination reaction the third one is reaction with metals reactions with metal okay so these three things are in the reaction so i'll be uh, telling you one by one so first of all try to think what is the nucleophilic nucleophilic substitution nucleophilic substitution nucleophilic means nucleus loving nucleus loving substitution means removing removing and adding removing other and adding himself two things are here so it will remove others and uh, add uh, himself and the nucleus loving nucleus loving means positive charge loving positive because in the nucleus as you know in the atom in the nucleus there are protons and neutrons and in the extra nuclear region there are electrons in the center nucleus is having the positive charge selection so that nucleus loving means positive charge loving okay so if any reaction like ch3cl plus oh minus like so here oh minus is the nucleophile it is a nucleophile why it is a nucleophile because it is having the minus charge and always negative charge will attract towards the positive charge negative charge will attract towards the positive charge there is nothing to worry about so if it is the uh, it is attracting towards the positive charge that is a nucleophile and if it will replace this chlorine to form another compound like ch3oh so chlorine is separate out here so it means here is the substitution of this chlorine and addition of a nucleophile here so this type of reaction will be called as nucleophilic substitution reaction is right down in the nucleophilic substitution one bond will be breaking and another bond will be forming and the bond formation will be a positive charge will be between a positive charge a positively charged compound and also with the nucleophile yeah you can also write it like not only ch3 but it can be anything like that like it is rx R X plus N U minus. This is a nucleophile, and it is having the negative charge. Gives R N U plus 
x minus is it okay for not is it okay yes sir yeah because it is having the positive charge uh, partially positive charge i told you everything in the zoc it is a partially positive charge which is a partially negative charge and it can be breaked down it can be possible and it will form a positively charged carbocation and this will attack on this carbocation to form the r and u and x minus will replace out so this is all about that okay so this is the nucleophilic substitution reaction example okay yes sir yeah so first of the first reaction in the nucleophilic substitution reaction is yes and two reaction the first reaction is the first reaction is substitution nucleophilic bimolecular reaction substitution nucleophilic bimolecular reaction and it is also called as sn2 substitution nucleophilic bimolecular this is the bi means two that's why this is the bimolecular reaction okay yes sir yeah now i'll be telling you about uh, the situation of the sn2 reaction so write down the sn2 reaction and then uh, i'll tell you reaction between reaction between primary halide generally primary halide generally and hydroxide ion and hydroxide ion to form primary alcohol and halide ion is called s and 2 type of reaction the reaction could be like this this is c i'll be telling you i already told you dash with positions dash with diagrams everything i told you so i'll be drawing exactly like that ch this is the hydrogen maybe this is the hydrogen maybe one is outward one is inward and there is a chlorine or iodine anything it can be so it is having the chlorine and another bond is attaching from the backward direction this is the oh minus oh minus so the reaction will carry it out reaction will carry it out when compound form will be c this is hydrogen this is chlorine this is hydrogen actually this is ch3 so it is hydrogen this is also hydrogen outward direction and the formation of bond here will be from the backward side and the oh minus will attack it will attach and it will leave out so formation of bond will invert the reaction it will form oh also there will be a 
hydrogen this will be hydrogen and this will be hydrogen plus cl max so this will form and this is the alcohol form alcohol is also called as methyl alcohol this is methyl chloride and this is hydroxide ion okay yes sir write down please and write down the points the key points the points are the rate depends upon rate of the reaction depends upon rate of the reaction depends upon the concentration of both the concentration of both the reactant what are the reactants here oh minus and ch3cl two reactants are there the concentration of both will the rate of the reaction will depends upon the concentration of the both reactant okay yes sir. this is single step process this is single step process reaction will not blow through will not go through carbocation intermediate there will not be any intermediate form directly oh will approach to the cx3cl from the back side and cl will removed out from the outward direction and the another compound will form that will be methyl alcohol there will not be anything like carbocation so there will not be any carbocation form in this reaction yes sir. okay yes sir yeah. as you are seeing here the here the configuration has been inverted because this hydrogen has been inverted to this situation the configuration has been inverted this is exactly opposite. Inversion is take place. I tell you inversion, this is just everything. But here the inversion has been taken place. I'll tell you. Okay, I'll tell you and then I'll decide that. No problem. Just write down, please. One more thing I want to tell you: as the as the leave, as the nucleophile will attract here, as the nucleophile will reach here, that it will weakens. As the as the nucleophile will going towards the carbon, then uh, that much looseness will be coming in the Cl, and this bond will be weakened, and OH bond, COH bond will be the yes, C and nucleophile bond will be standing out. 
Yes, sir. Yeah. As the nucleophile will reach towards the X towards carbon attached there carbon to attach there that much weakness will be coming in carbon and allied bonds as much nucleophile will reach towards the carbon that much weakness will be coming in between common and allied okay Yes, sir. Is there any problem? No, sir. Since this reaction, since this reaction carried out on reaching, carried on on reaching nucleophiles. instantly on the carbon so there is very less hindrance required there is very less hindrance required to better as and do reaction hindrance means if there will be number of groups like carbon methyl group or different types of groups will be there like this like this then it is the it is having the more hindrance if it is having only hydrogen then it will be having less hindrance okay if it is having one carbon and two hydrogen so somehow somehow less and if two carbon and one hydrogen then also less but more less if three carbon is there then very more very much hindrance will be there so you can say hindrance order will be like this so tertiary hindrance of hindrance of 3 degree is greater than 2 degree is greater than 1 degree so the reactivity one degrees less than two degrees less than three degree sorry uh, it's opposite now it's, it's totally opposite so three degrees less than two degrees less than one degree so it will be that reacts yes okay because hindrance will be more than the reactivity will be lesser that is the university order of reactivity you can also write it like this order of reactivity towards sn2 reaction is 3 degree less than 2 degrees less than 1 degree so 1 degree will be having better sn2 i don't think there will be any problem as we write down yes sir completed so i told you about the sn2 reaction okay So can I take one question? The question is CH two CH two 
CS3, CS. Okay, uh, CHCl and that's CH3, CH2, 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 CN, which you will be having A or B. B, sir. It will be having SN2. It will be having the better SN2 because it is having the primary carbon. Okay. So there is no need to, and there is no need to worry about. Okay. I am just giving you second question. It's just CH2 Cl and Cl. Which of the following will be having the better SN2? A, sir. The A. Why? Because A is the primary. A is the 1 degree and B is the 2 degree. So A is having the better SN2 than B. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Is there any problem? No, sir. One more question I want to ask. Question is that Order of reactivity toward SN2. Sir, I is greater than CL and if, sir. Why? Why? Sir, uh, it is less electronegative, so it will go out easily. Yes, that's great. I is having less electronegativity, so the leaving ability is easy. So it will go out easily, it will go out difficult, and it will be very difficult to go out. That's why C will be having greater than B than A. It's okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Great. This is all about SN2 reaction. I'll be also telling about the inversion and also uh, racemization in the SN2. But first of all, I'll try to tell you about the SN1 mechanism. So the second mechanism is substitution. Have you got SN2? Is there any problem? Yes. No problem, sir. Okay. Is it easy now? Yes, sir. Okay. So now I am just moving forward with a substitution nucleophilic substitution nucleophilic unimolecular This will uh, give me two minutes. I am just coming to my water bottle, please. Yes, sir. So I'm just starting uh, again the substitution nucleophilic unimolecular reaction. So this is called as a uni. Uh, so th there are the three things here: substitution means yes, and and unimolecular means one. So S N one reaction. Okay, this is called as S N one reaction. So uh, first of all, we will try to uh, see what is S N one reaction. So, yes and one reactions are yes and one 
the reactions are SN1 reactions are generally carried out generally carried out SN1 reactions are generally carried out in polar protic solvent in polar protic solvents like water alcohol hcc acid try to solve that uh, see the definition and i'll tell you number of questions about the uh, sn1 and sn2 like the water alcohol uh, acetic acid okay so these are the solvents in which it can be uh, it can be carried out generally the reaction would be Generally, the reaction between tertiary butyl halide and hydroxide ion. And hydroxide ion is <coughs> gets tetrahydrotyl alcohol, tetrahydrotyl alcohol. The reaction will be like I'm just telling you CS3 to whole twice. Uh, CSC to whole size CBR plus OH minus. This is the reactant. So the product will be CH3 to whole twice COH. Okay. This is the product form CSC to whole size COH. This reaction. This is two step process. Reaction goes through carbo cation intermediate. Stability of carbocation will also achieve, will also achieve the like step one CS3 PR. CS3 CBR in the first process, it is the inversible reaction, and it is also called as step one. The compound form will be CH3, 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 and positive charge plus BR minus. In the second step, this is step one. In the step two, CH3, C, CH3, CH3 plus, it will form reaction with OH minus, and the compound form will be CH3 to whole price COH. Is the step two because write down here because step one goes through carbocation intermediate.
so and also there is breaking of carbon halogen bond and also there is breaking of carbon halogen bond because step one goes through carbocation intermediate and also there is breaking of carbon halogen bond so because step one goes through carbocation intermediate and also there is breaking of carbon halogen bond so it will be because this is going through the carbocation intermediate if there will be formation of the carbocation intermediate so maybe stability will also require so hydrogen cells maybe uh ring expansion number of things will be happening in the carbocation intermediate and then the second uh, step will carry out like when oh minus will react on that step in the step two so that's why it will be slowest step it will be slowest step of reactions so it is the slowest step of a reaction okay next thing is as we know because we know that the carbocation intermediate is important in the assembly reaction so it will definitely be carrying out general definitely be uh, going with the carbocation intermediate so if there will be carbocation intermediate then that there will be definitely uh, stability will important if there will be stability important then we have to think about that if there will be more stable carbocation then there will be good sn1 reaction and if there will be less stable carbocation then there will be less sn1 reaction or less sn1 will carry out so we can also think about that so as we know that as we know that first step one goes through carbocation intermediate and also there is breaking of carbon halogen bond so it will be slowest step of reaction as we know that there is as we know that there is stability abhishek are you listening me yes sir stability of carbocation as we know that stability of carbocation is important so if the carbocation stability is important so we know that if there will be more stable carbocation so we will have to go through more stable carbocation for the greater stability is that okay yes sir is there any problem with that no sir okay so uh, if there is tertiary secondary and primary so where will be having the more sn1 reaction tertiary sir tertiary then secondary then primary is it okay for you yes sir now So if we are going for SN two, then one degree is greater than two degrees, greater than three degree, and so on. If we are going for SN one, then it is just opposite. Three degrees greater than two degrees, greater than one degree. Is it okay? It's very important concept. Actually, number of times questions are asking, questions are coming in the examination. For the SN two, three degree is greater than two degree is greater than one degree. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. If there is a lilac or benzylic, if there is a lilac or benzylic carbocation. I already told you everything about the lilac and benzylic carbocation stabilities. Then 
highly highly altered SN1 will carry out highly altered SN1 will carry it out. If there is allylic or benzylic carbocation, then there will be highly altered SN1 will carry it out. Is it okay for you? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any problem? No, sir. Okay. So now we will be moving forward. No, this is SN1, SN2. This is the degree of carbocation. Now, uh, it is all about the SN1 reaction. I will also telling you something awesome. Inversion, diversion, everything about that, but this is all about the stability for the SN1. Okay, so this is the uh, SN1, I think. All about. Write down this. I told you everything about the optical isomerism. Sir. I told you about the optical isomerism. Yes, sir. I told you about the molecular asymmetry like in axiomas, dextro and devo has been formed. I told you. Yes, yes sir. So if there will be any uh, chiral carbon will be coming at the reaction position, then uh, something will be different uh, thing has been happened. So I'll be telling you something about that. So will you understand now? So, uh, have you idea about optical isomerism and uh, I also idea about the chiral carbon, a chiral carbon, and also optical isomerism like uh, one dextro and one levo will be formed, one uh, clockwise and one anti clockwise was there. Do you know about that? No? Yes. Everything. Yes. So, I yes. told you about that everything in the previous classes when I was telling you about the GOC, central organic chemistry. So, right now I'll be just moving forward with some points retention and inversion, and also resmization. Because I told you, the, th the first thing is, uh, here's something I want to tell you. Like, first is stereomerism. I told you. Second is uh, optical isomerism where uh, B and L will form. Means R and S. Rectus and sinister. I told you, it is also known by you. The symmetric means in, in anxiomer, you also to, uh, know about an anxiomer. Uh, do you know about that now? One dextro and one level will be called as in anxiomers? Yes, sir. Yeah, I told you everything. This piece, the piece is called on your uh, copy. There is nothing to worry about. I told you everything about that. Now I'll be moving forward with uh, retention. Retention. So the, uh, the thing I want to tell you that if we are going for the SN1 and SN2 reaction and maybe the, car the carbon present at the yes the SN2 reaction uh, where we are just attaching this hydroxyl ion. If this carbon will be having, uh, maybe it is, will be having a different structure. Like this is CH2I, this is CH2Cl, this is CH2Br. So it is always, it is having the uh, chirality now. Because if OH will attach, then it one, uh, then the compound will form CH, CH2I, CH2Cl, uh, CH2Br, and uh, one thing is OH. So it is chiral carbon now. Hello? Sir? Yes, sir. It is chiral carbon because CH2I is attached, already attached, CH2Br is already there. CH2Cl is already there, and after the uh, after the plus charge will remove and OH will attach, so one chiral carbon will compound, chiral compound will form now. Yes, sir. You know now everything about that. Yes, sir. For yeah. Yes, sir. So that's why I want to tell you what will be happening in the SN1 and SN2 reaction if, if the position will be uh, according to the optical isomerism. What will be the thing happen if there is optical isomerism? Maybe in the SN2 reaction. Maybe in the SN2 reaction, the thing is happening. Like uh, carbon Cl, Br, and I, maybe, and uh, this is the plus charge, and fluorine is just attaching, or this is hydrogen, and the iodine is just attaching from the back side. So it is SN2. 
and SN2 will form C, B, R, C, L, I, and H. So this is having the optical isomerism, and this is having the chiral chirality. So this will so uh, next one. You know what is the thing happening in between SN2 and SN1 reaction? So we are just going to discuss that. So have you idea about now, na? No? Yes, sir. Yeah. So I'll be moving forward SN2 and SN1 reactions when uh, there will be uh, something compound will form like uh, optical isomerism or optical isomer compound will form. So I'll be telling you everything about that. Just hold on, no problem. So first thing is retention. The thing is a retention, retention. Okay. Retention. Have you written? Yes, sir. If no stereomeric, stereomeric bond is. breaking and there is presence of stereomeric carbon so so the product will have the same general configuration of group Product will have the same general configuration of group, same general configuration of groups. Same general configuration of groups. Around the stereomers as that of the reactant. Around the stereomers as that of the. It means there will not be change in the arrangement. Uh, whatever the arrangement in the uh, reactant, that will be the same arrangement in the product also. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So such a reaction, such a reaction, it is said to proceed with. It is said to proceed with. Such a reaction is said to proceed with retention of the configuration. Retention. I will tell you whatever I am saying. Retention of the configuration. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sir. It means like a compound is there. Like C. There is I. Okay. Uh, maybe so there is there is C C H two uh, O H. This is I. This is uh, uh, I or uh, we can also say this is not not I. This is that can be a uh, CH three or CH three or CH two CH three. CH three. Maybe it is hydrogen. Okay, maybe it is hydrogen. So the compound is okay. I'm just drawing it again because it is not visible actually. Just wait. This carbon. Carbon is having one side. This is. CH two OH, and also there is 
hydrogen hydrogen this is ch3 this is ch2 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 ch3 maybe anything will be and we are just reacting with hcl so you know that this will uh, form the, on the compound and the compound will react with this situation there is nothing uh, nothing to worry about here so see this is hydrogen this is hydrogen this is a uh, ch3 group and also this is ch2 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 ch3 it will be as it is remained so and this compound will be called as ch2 cl okay this is the compound form the new compound is formed but the retention has not been changed because the attached chlorine was on the this carbon this carbon and this carbon is not having the chiral molecule yes this is having the chiral position but this will be as it is retained as it is remain in the product also just because of that there is no reaction has been carried out at this carbon this carbon has not been disturbed by the nucleophile electrophile or any adding substance then this carbocation or this carbon will not show the action of any action like enantiomeric action so this will be as it is is it okay for you yes sir is it okay yes sir because there is nothing to uh, nothing has been happened with this carbon if anything will be happening with this carbon then only there will be something problem so i'll be telling you about that also but right now this is the retention product so uh, yes is it is it okay now yes sir okay now i'm just moving forward with the inversion this is a retention product means it is as it is same only the only the bond has been attached only another bond has been attached either it is having the uh, chiral molecule chiral uh, chiral position of carbon but there is nothing to worry about because it will be as it is remain so this is called as the retention product okay now inversion yes, yes sir inversion inversion actually there are three categories i'll be telling you inversion retention and uh, racemization so uh, the third, second thing is inversion and the third thing is racemization 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 this racemization okay inversion retention and racemization so i'll be telling you everything first of all i'll just try to write a structure and then i'll tell you what is retention what is uh, inversion and what is racemization and then i'll tell you what is happening with sn1 reaction sn2 reaction and uh, other type of reactions like one compound is here the compound is carbon one hydrogen is attached here one methyl is attached here one methyl attached here one x bond is here and one c2h5 is here is it chiral molecule now hello abhish sir is it chiral molecule or not no sir. oh sorry i was muted sir no sir ha huh? no sir two hydrogen yeah. if there will be there will be one hydrogen then then it will be chiral sir if it now yes sir it is chiral molecule yes sir if there is a reaction is happening like this and another compound y is uh, maybe maybe the compound uh, x is like cl minus 
and y is like OH minus. Okay, maybe o y is OH minus, and y is just attaching, and the configuration is just opposite. Maybe like this. Definitely, it will happen. Definitely, it will happen. Uh, the C uh, will be here. This is Y. Was X has been changed to Y. X has been rotated uh, like this. Okay, just 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 let me draw it, and then I'll take. This is Y. This is hydrogen. And this is C two H five. Here Y has been rotated. There is nothing to worry about. Only X has been. This is this has been rotated. If it is dextro, then it is dextro. Then it has been rotated to levo. Only Y uh, X has been changed. X has been uh, rotated to this position. The bond has been rotated. Firstly, the uh, Y is attached, and then the bond has been rotated. So C S three is now this side. And Y has been now this side, and uh, this carbon, this uh, dash position is, is on the left side, and CH two is as it is. Are you understanding whatever I want to say? Hello, sir. Am I audible, sir? This is the mirror image, actually. These are the mirror image. Actually, this is the mirror image. If you want to say. This is C two S five at upper position. This is if you will uh, put this as the mirror, then it will form the P. If A, uh, this is A, then it will form the P. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This formation, if if there is a rotation is possible, the rotation is possible after the reaction. Then uh, if A is forming the B, uh, this is B compound actually. A uh, A dash. This is a zero compound. Maybe this is a zero. And giving the B zero to B is the uh, it is called as the inversion. Yes. So zero to B and it is called as the inversion. Okay. Now, if it will be as it is and only the only the X has been replaced by the Y that was happened with the previous compound. So. Uh, This is D two H five. This is Y. The thing has been happened like same. This is uh, this is methyl. This is hydrogen. Now, can you think about zero and B are same? Only X has been replaced. Is it okay or not? Yes. Zero and B are same. There is no yes, other sir. mass. Only X has been X has been uh, changed because uh, that there is reaction of X into Y because Y will replace X. So if we are taking Y here also, then it will replace X and the formation of bond will be like this. So these are the mirror images or not? Can you see that these A and B are the mirror images? Can you tell? This is these are the mirror images or not? Yes. A and B. This is A and this is B. Both are the mirror image. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is that clear? Yes, sir. And if there is the there is nothing uh, has been changed, so this will be called as retention. This is retention and this is inversion. If both the form will come in the together format and A. Plus B, both will formed. Then it will be called as, uh, it will be called as racemization. What is this? What is it? Racemization. Yes. I think you got the concept. You got the concept or not? Hello. Yes, sir. Which one are you got? Yes, getting sir. the concept or is there any problem? So I'm getting it, sir. Hello. Okay. So just tell me now. This is uh, this is A. This is A actually, this is A. This is B. A B A B. Here is only mirror image. Here is the retention because the rotation is possible, and here the same as it is. 
and these a and b are the mirror images if a and b both are coming then the resemization will carry it out okay yes sir now write down if a is only product this is a actually a is only product will come after the reaction then it will be called as retention second one if b is only product will come after the reaction then it will be called as inversion if a mixture of if a 50 50 mixture of both a and b will come then it will be called as racemic mixture or racemization right down please we got the concept yes sir can i move forward or i am writing so one minute sir complete it sir सर कंप्लीटेड सर कंप्लीटेड ओके यस नाउ वी हैव टू थिंक अबाउट व्हाई वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इनवर्सन रेसमाइजेशन एंड रिटेंशन जस्ट बिकॉज़ टू स्टडी अबाउट द एसएन1 एंड एसएन2 रिएक्शन दैट व्हाट इज हैपनिंग विद द एसएन1 एंड एसएन2 एसएन1 एंड एसएन2 सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल ट्राई टू शो यू द एसएन2 मैकेनिज्म So this is SN two. Is it visible or not? Yes, yes, sir. Here OH is attaching and Cl is at the this direction. And when the OH is attached, then the uh, the this bond is same, but the bond formation of this OH has been opposite. Is it opposite or not? this hydrogen has been shifted to opposite direction this hydrogen was this direction and this has been shifted to this direction yes sir and cl was at this direction and this has been shifted to this direction so it is inversion or 
retention inversion inversion it is not racemization because only one product has been formed and the product form is like the mirror image that's why it will be the sentu product will be inversion product is it right or not yes sir okay so the first thing first thing about the sentu because because only one product has been formed and also there is shifting or uh, there is the mirror image form mirror image of reactant is product so sn2 product is what is it inverse inverse okay sn2 product will be inverse product now yes, we will talk about sn1 because okay just want to see so the sentu mechanism is it right yes and one yes sir sorry yes and one yes and one this is the sentu Yes, yeah. sir. Two seconds. In the yes, N one reaction, it is going through with the carbo cation intermediate. So carbo cation will do anything for the stability. So that will form the both product, uh, inversion product and retention product. And in fact, all the product possible. In fact, whenever carbo cation have been formed, number of product have been formed already. We are, we know from the GOC, whenever there will be uh, carbo cation. there will be some chance of other product also but in the situation of the sn1 reaction there will be to both the product chances that's why this is having inversion and retention both the product that's why it will be called as a racemization reaction racemization reaction is it okay or not yes sir yeah because because yes and one goes through carbo cation intermediate that's why all the possibilities can be in sn1 so it will make or form This is version plus retention. Okay. Yes, sir. Right now, please. And just looking for some questions. Just write down. Yes.
सर कंप्लीटेड सर यस सर Okay, just give me today. I'll send you uh, today the questions. Questions we need. I'll send you. Just enter and send to the exams. But from by tonight, I'll send you. Yes, sir. Okay, so we are moving forward with the elimination reaction. down the elimination reaction. Yeah. So write down the elimination reaction. So have you heard about alpha hydrogen, beta hydrogen? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, so uh, write down the definition first. Thing. When a when a halo alkane with a beta hydrogen atom. beta hydrogen atom is heated with is heated with is heated with alcoholic solution of potassium hydroxide KOH alcoholic okay there is elimination of hydrogen atom There is elimination of there is elimination of hydrogen atom from beta carbon from beta carbon and halogen atom from alpha carbon. And a halogen atom from alpha carbon, and a halogen atom from alpha carbon atom, 
the halogen atom from an alpha carbon atom as a result alpha carbon atom as a result an alkene is formed an alkene is formed an alkene is formed as a product as a product since beta hydrogen atom is involved in elimination since beta hydrogen atom is involved in elimination it is called a it is called beta hydrogen always there will be elimination of hello this is a very very important point please write down very very important always there will be elimination of halogen and hydrogen in beta elimination process will be from opposite side this reaction is also called as e2 reaction this reaction is also called as e2 reaction Just giving you number of examples. Okay, this is the C C H E F. This is the car. So this will be removed out, and this will uh, be attached. It is like a base. KOH is a base. The base will attack on hydrogen. So the form compound will be C double bond C. This chlorine and this hydrogen will be moved out. I don't think there's a big problem. Okay, I'm just telling you number of things now. This is Cl. This is uh, hydrogen. This is hydrogen. Okay. This is hydrogen. There is hydrogen. Okay. So, what will happen is that, only opposite side. Maybe a hydrogen can also be here. Like this is CS three. If it is hydrogen, and another thing is CS three. Are you getting the compound? Yes, sir. in this situation can you see that we have this chlorine can be removed with only two possibilities one hydrogen can be from this position either one hydrogen can be from this position but this chlorine is outward direction and this hydrogen is also outward direction so this reaction this uh, elimination cannot be possible okay in this situation also this chlorine is from the outward direction 
and here one hydrogen is inward and one hydrogen is outward so the inward hydrogen will remove out so this is one this is two this is three so hydrogen number hydrogen number 1 will replace out if hyd uh, okay just give, just telling you two thing if hydrogen number 3 will replace out then the compound will form will be like this okay uh, this is cs3 this is cs3 and uh, now it is having the greater stability because of the more number of alpha hydrogen but this will not carried out just because of that this reaction is going through with the alcoholic koh and it is also called as the e2 reaction so there is not any need of uh, stability but there is the need of good e2 elimination so one number hydrogen will replace out and the double bond will come and the compound form will be this will be as as it is hydrogen this will be as it is cs3 and the compound form will be c uh, this is this has been removed out this is double bond and also there is the dash word hydrogen and here is it okay for you yes sir there is no need of uh replacing the carbo there, there is no need of replacing the hydrogen from that position where the more stability is formed only the need is there that the situation should be coming where more stable like e2 will be carried out d2 will be carried out where there will be the uh the replace of or elimination of hydrogen and chlorine from the opposite direction so it will be the good possibility for that okay yes, sir yes sir there is a reaction this is cl okay and this cl is outward okay wait wait this is a reaction this cl is outward here one hydrogen is uh, inward okay now here uh, outward one CH two CS three is there. CH two CS three is there. Okay, and inward in hydrogen. Okay, actually this is dot. This is dot position, and this is the outward position. Oh, oh. Also, the outward position, and this is dot. This is dot. Okay, here it is. Uh, hydrogen, and here is also hydrogen. If the hydrogen number one, two will replace out, then the compound form will be. Less stable, but if the hydrogen number three will replace out, then the compound will be more stable because one is one because two extra number of alpha hydrogen will be coming here. I'm just showing you. If one uh, here the possibility of opposite sides, this is the dark, this is the dash. So two number hydrogen will carried out, and the compound form will be like this. And the compound form will be like this. And the situation will be like the okay. So here, uh, actually, uh, hydrogen is there. So it is the compound form, and it is CH two CH three. Okay, this is less stable. If the hydrogen number three will replace out, if two will replace out, if three will replace out, if the three will replace out, then the compound form will be. This is CH two. CH three. Now it is having that two 
to four, two to four, and two six. So six alpha hydrogen, and it is having only uh, only two 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 one three. So two one three. So only three alpha hydrogen. But the reaction will carry it out with this situation because we have to carry forward with E two elimination. Whatever is the thing happening, we have to think about the E two elimination always. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Is there any problem? No, sir. Now the question number next question. If there is simply written a CH three, a CH three CH two CH two CH Br CH two H, then what will happen? The two thing can be possible. Either hydrogen can shift out here, either hydrogen can shift out here. Yes, one hydrogen will definitely be downward, so hydrogen can shift out from second, and hydrogen can shift out from first. So when the hydrogen can will be shifted out from the first, when the compound form will be CH three, CH two, CH two, uh, CH double bond CH two. This compound will form, and when from the second position, this is the second, this is the first. When the second will replace out the CH three, CH two, CH double bond CH, CH three. This. But this is having the greater number of alpha hydrogens. That's why this is the better opportunity, and this is the less opportunity. So it is also a concept of E two elimination. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So this is all about alpha hydrogen, and also this is about E two elimination, S N two elimination, and S N two mechanism. That is the uh, substitution, nucleophilic substitution reaction, and also uh, nucleophilic substitution by molecular and nucleophilic substitution by molecular. Both reaction has been happened. So now, okay with all all that? Yes, sir. Um, sir. Yes. Sir, am I audible, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Audible. Okay, sir. So this is all about E two, S N two, and S N one. So uh, I already completed all that. I don't think there should be any problem. Have you understand everything about S N two, S N one, and E two? Yes, sir. Easy, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Try to solve question also at the home, and uh, you will ask me the question if there will be any problem. Okay. Now, yes. Uh, now we are just stopping here today. So there is one more lecture for L K L I. And then I'll start alcohol. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Only one lecture has been given for the alkali. And uh, ask to ask Pika also for the join next class because it is not okay. Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll send yes. you recording, no problem. But uh, just 